technically speaking, te te technically, technically, technically speaking. I ain't talking vegan when I said that I've been eating, making money on the side, but I use it for the main. I'm speaking in code when I tech talk that financial freedom. Have a seat, cause you gon' wanna sit up at my table. Get plugged in that it, girl. IT with the cables, yeah. Network engineering is for you, it ain't no labels. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another lesson in this computer networking course, okay? Mm, like I tell you guys always, we are starting off with the CCNA exam track, okay? Whether you're taking the exam or you're not taking the exam, this is to help you understand how computers communicate with one another, all right? Now, we talked about so much, <laughs> but today we're going to talk about layer two security features, okay? Because we're still in the security realm in the security week. So let's talk about layer two security. We talked about securing the network, the intro, what is security in the network? How do we secure a network? Little things like the AAA server, um, whether that's TACAX um, plus or RADIUS, um, we know different uh, ways to mitigate risk in our network, okay? So let's hone in a little bit and talk about layer two security features, okay? Now, these are common layer two threats. We have rogue DACP servers, which are DACP servers that do not belong to us. Um, so uh, hackers will definitely create some type of DACP server so they can allocate an IP address that it's theirs and they can move along in the network and you know, um, take, you know, take our data. Another threat are um, is invalid art packets, right? So um, hackers will also create um, art packets that are malicious, that are not uh, real, that do not belong to um, a real device. And they will also create invalid MAC addresses. They'll have MAC addresses that do not belong to our network um, or MAC addresses that are false or just a hacker's MAC address um, will come in and that's not what we want. We don't want anyone that doesn't belong on our network. So these are the most common threats on our layer two network, which are, which are switches, right? And switches do what? Forward traffic based off of um, MAC addresses. Right, so these are really um, these are common threats. Going more into those threats, right? So we have rogue DACP servers. So we have a mitigation technique, um, which is DACP snooping. So we configure this, and all it is is it acts like this firewall between an untrusted host and a trusted DACP server. So you'll probably configure DAC DACP snooping on that switch that's between the DACP server and all other clients that may or not uh, be valid, right? So um, we have it on our switch. Our end users are gonna say, hey, I wanna connect to the network. So um, I'm gonna connect to the network and I'm gonna ask for a DACP um, address or I'm gonna connect the DACP server to get an address. And um, it's basically, the, the switch will basically say, hey, this is the only DACP server we will trust. Anybody else that comes on, we won't. So the client is okay. If another client comes in and say, well, I'm a server, it's gonna say, no, we got our server that's accounted for already. So you go and get out of here. And again, um, it's just filtering out different type of uh, DHCP messages. It's literally here to just watch DHCP messages to ensure that it's coming from where it's supposed to come from. Okay, there's a couple command lines that we're actually going to add. And that's really all it is. We're just snooping the ACP packets. All right. Um, invalid ARP packets. We, we know what ARP is, right? Address resolution protocol. We're resolving an address, whether that's a MAC address into an IP or an IP into a MAC. If you do not understand ARP or the ARP process, you're going to have to go way back to like week two to basically get spun up on it. Um, but from here, we should know what ARP is. So, in, so invalid ARP packets. What do we do? We, we um, configure a dynamic ARP inspection. And all it is is rejecting invalid and malicious ARP packets. Because again, they're going to try to, hackers are going to try to put in ARP packets to get into our network. Um, so we don't want to accept that. And we don't want to put that into our switch or put that into our tables, into our database um, to allow them to you know, access our network. So we're going to put a, um, a dynamic ARP inspection to just reject any ARP packets that are invalid. Okay, um, and that's all that that, uh, that that configuration will do, right? That's all the setup. Another threat is invalid MAC addresses, 
So if we scroll down here to port security, so we're going to configure port security specifically for MAC addressing, right? So we're going to say, hey, is this MAC address, should it belong here, shouldn't belong here, who's going to restrict it? We're literally just limiting access to ports, right? Port security, kind of self-explanatory, right? Um, all it does is identify the MAC address of the clients that allow the forward traffic through an interface. So we're literally putting on the switch, hey, um, this MAC address can come here, but any anything that comes from port 02 or port 03, no MAC addresses can come through here because those ports are supposed to be open or closed or whatever the case may be, right? We're literally just limiting access um, via your MAC address, like simple, plain, self-explanatory. Um, now for CCNA exam, they want you to configure both of these, they want you to know how to configure each three of these. Um, to get a more understanding of these protocols, right, DACP snooping, dynamic ARP, um, inspection and port security, uh, chapter eight and chapter six in the CCNA book is kind of your go-to. Um, but if you kind of have a solid understanding of these protocols like DACP snooping, it's just snooping out um, DACP packets to ensure that that is a trusted DACP server. It's not someone to just put in a server and say, hey, here, send your request to me. Um, dynamic ARP inspection, we're doing the same thing, but instead it's on ARP packets. And then port security is all about limiting um, MAC addresses, limiting um, access to our network via MAC addresses. That's right, that's that. As long as you understand that, we can low key move on. Now, here is a blog, a blog that- is it for the main? Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys the Trello desktop application. This is where all of our exam prep notes will be stored. So if you have access to the exam prep notes or you're in the boot camp, this is our Trello workspace that we will come to and collaborate um, our knowledge and questions, comments, concerns. You will still use the Discord for your primary um, communication, but this is where all the material is housed. And I just wanna give you just a quick little run through. Now, right now, we are doing the CCNA slash net plus learning. So as I do the lives or I do recorded videos, I will post them here. And as you can see, we're gonna start off in this um, board, which is called the CCNA slash net plus. Um, you'll start here for all notes. Now you definitely can click on this, right? And it will give you some information like the Google Drive. That's where everything is housed in our drive if you can't find anything. Um, this is also where I will possibly tag you to say here, start on this um, board and work your way through. Um, these right here are the exam topics. You can click on it and see it's an attachment as well as a link. All right, click out of it. You can click into this card, which is the C, um, the Computer Networking 101 ebook. Um, it's just the ebook with uh, the computer networking all um, comprised in it, not as deep as the CCNA, but it talks about it in general. So you can get a general aspect of how computer networking works, basically how computers talk to each other, right? Um, you get this ebook for free. It is $25 on the website, but since you signed up for the bootcamp or for the exam prep notes, you get this ebook for free here. We also have the CCNA um, Quizlet. So these are our flashcards or play little games with the terms. So it can help you retain this information as you go through these modules. Each module, right, as you can see, has its own list. So we have network fundamentals, network access, IP activity, moving on. Um, each exam topic is listed in its own video. As you can see, the lesson 1.2, lesson 1.3, 1.6 and 7. Um, and they're all here laid out for you. And then at the end of the section, such as section one, you will have an exam, a pop quiz, um, a, just a test exam, just to test your knowledge, see if you resent, uh, retain some information. If you haven't, it would be best for you to go back and review the things that um, confused you or you just weren't able to retain, possibly even going back to the Quizlet. But if you are confused and the videos are not helping you, the resources are not helping you, please utilize Discord and we'll be glad to get you caught up to speed.